is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you. So you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. Checking here now with a child having been born, do baby teeth need to be brushed? Absolutely. I don't remember doing that. Well, of course oh, I did. Yes. I remember being taught that those are the days they would turn the water on and that mom and dad would say, leave it on forever and just let the toothpaste go there. Well, we can serve a little better than that now, but yes. do baby teeth need to be brushed? Yes, uh, so even though they, they will fall out, right, baby teeth uh, serve a lot of functions. Uh, the, the number one being um, it's important for uh, the nutrition. So if, if a baby's teeth are, are not healthy, then they They're not cannot, eating. You cannot eat with it, right? Uh, so that's number one. Number two is uh, uh, because the teeth are there, it does help the development of the bone, of the jaw bone. And if uh, we lose the teeth too early, then the jaw bone will not develop. Uh, and uh, it may not be important in, in a sense for the baby teeth themselves, but for the adult teeth, the baby teeth serve as, um, they, they are uh, what uh, prepares the, the, uh, the arch, prepares the bone, What's going around here, so in the shape and... Yes, and, okay. uh, and it's really preparing it for the adult teeth uh, coming in. And uh, phonetics uh, for, uh, for speaking and... Speech. and yes. Uh, so if a tooth is missing or many teeth are missing, we may have some speech uh, uh, issues and, uh, and there's some self-esteem uh, issues as well. So uh, believe it or not, teeth uh, kids do have uh, self-esteem issues. And oh, if, yes. Yes, and uh, if um, a child has... Um, a lot of cavities are, uh, they may not smile as much, they, they may not uh, smile in pictures and stuff like that, and, and they may feel that um, they're somehow different, and it does affect the development of your child. You have a terrific video on your website, smilecenter.com, of your daughter brushing her teeth. Yes, it's really precious. You haven't seen that one yet. You've got to go see that one. So, yes, we've got to make sure these baby teeth are brushed. Yes. So, Dr. Julie, we're talking about, you know, baby teeth, but clearly, you know, there, there's money in these teeth. I mean, you know, you've got to protect them because otherwise, how are you going to trade them with the tooth fairy to, to get paid? I mean, so, they, you, but clearly there are, there are more serious reasons than that. Yes, and, you know, you want to install good oral hygiene habits very early on. Um, you know, kids strive in routine, so... Hmm. You, know, you start it very early on uh, when the babies they won't remember but as they get older they'll always remember your know, oral hygiene brushing the teeth being part of their routine and you want to install them very early on so that they can um, carry on with life um, having that in mind and that's great yeah, so, so these in a way are almost like practice teeth I mean you yes. want to really get good practicing and taking care of these yes. because those are the habits that are going to help you <laughs> With, yes. with the ones you have to keep Parents for a long time. Parents need to practice also to brush the, the baby teeth sure. because we do that um, because we're used to it. But um, when you have a baby for the first time, it's almost scary what you do with the teeth, how to brush them. So do that very early on. And, and, and you recommend coming in when those first two teeth have kind of erupted and, and that that's the time to really jump in there and start caring for these teeth, right? Yes, definitely. And it's easier to brush two teeth than... <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Practice with two until you have a whole mouthful. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com. What do we have there? There we have, hey, we have the entire interview that this was just one question from, but that's just the beginning. We have the Dental Secrets 101 special report. Oh, you do want to get that. That's a Absolutely. downloadable right away. You can get all these questions and answers, some new ones, some other information. Lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family. But you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids. But the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists. And every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So if you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.